Okay, so this is the club coder knowledge base so far. This knowledge base will be updated every day and additionally new categories will be added as we go along including how to manage servers, doing um, Amazon Web Servers development and other operation related to manage your day-to-day -day web hosting business will also be added into this knowledge base so it's good if you can sync your own knowledge base with our knowledge base and just grab everything we got here into your own whmcs knowledge base and that way you can always bring the most up-to-date and rich knowledge base to your own customers so let's go ahead and do that so right now i have another website sitting here it's called kids web host actually this is the initial website i was going to use but i found the domain club coder which is much better as you can see we have the kids safe certification just issued to us recently so that's good and now let's for example this is the 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 other website for example this is your website and you want to sync the knowledge base into from our um, club coder knowledge base into your own web hosting uh, brand for example kids web host right so right now if i go here to my whmcs installation which is slash members and i go to knowledge base everything is blank right as you would also have when you just start and just install whmcs it will probably be blank like this one so it's a good thing to start with um, already filled knowledge base this is just for this demo purposes uh, by the time you are going to actually install the whole thing it will be much more articles and categories added in the actual knowledge base we have so to do that um, let's get a module that will sync up every article and categories in club coder into your own whmcs so to do that i'm going to get a module from my website ecasutmedia.com just go to the order form there and i'm gonna order this one as you can see um, this will have a price of 199 dollars annually but as a udemy student you will have the first year completely free just enter the coupon code in uh, which you can obtain from within the project 1000 course um, there so let's go ahead and get this module and install it and you will see how the whole thing works i'm going to click the order now button here <clears throat> so just annual payment is the only option you will need to put your license key for your whmcs here for for the system to authenticate for you to be able to grab all the knowledge base materials into your own whmcs so to do that for example this is your your web hosting installation your whmcs installation so i'm going to grab um the the whmcs license key from kids web host i'm just going to go to the cpanel 2083 kids and i'm just gonna go ahead go to my file manager here under files file manager okay so i'm gonna go inside my members folder which is my whmcs folder is this one i just rename it to members and i'm gonna grab my configuration file here right and i'm gonna open with my code editor just gonna grab the license key and paste it there here we go we have the license key okay it's still loading there we go i'm gonna grab this and close that close that and close we're gonna keep this for now so i'm just gonna paste it there okay make sure everything looks good no white spaces or anything and add to cart 
Now, it's going to be 199 annually, but put your promotional code from your own um, Udemy Project 1000 page. It'll be there. But for now, for this demo, I'm going to use Ikasud, which is a demo. Validate the code. So once you do that, it's going to be totally free. Nothing to pay. Just go check out. And just fill in your name here, okay? So for this demo, I'm just going to pause this for a second. I'm going to fill in my son's name and we're going to continue. Okay, so everything is filled in. I'm going to go complete the order now. And it's done. I'm going to go to my client area. And if I go to services and my services. So this is still pending, okay? So please wait until this change to active before you actually can start grabbing the the all the knowledge base articles and categories. So for this demo I'm going to manually accept this order. I'm going to open my admin Okay, so I'm going to go to clients or orders, list all orders. So I'm going to accept all this order um, from Daryl. I'm just going to accept this order there. Okay. So now it should be active. If I go back here and I refresh. It's active, right? It's green and active. And if I view details, we have the key and everything looks good. Now, go to the download section, the downloads tab here. You have open knowledge base scripts, right? You can download that. It contains two files and just upload those two files into your WHMCS installation folder. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to download this and save the file. Okay. So now I'm going to go my to my the kids web host which is your um, own WHMCS installation. So I'm going to go to my file manager again. I'm going to go to my file manager and okay <clears throat> now i'm going to go to my whmcs installation folder so this is the whmcs installation folder i am going to upload the zip file i'm going to browse it remember where you download the file okay so it's supposed to be here open kb on the downloads folder open kb.zip open that so yeah that's okay yes so when I close this and I reload this file manager we have open kb.zip right as you can see let's go back into the members and open kb.zip here we go now, I'm going to unzip this or extract. Just click there, make it blue, highlight it, and click the extract button there into here. Okay. There we go. So now we have. Let me reload this again. So it's actually refreshing. Now we have openkb.php and openkbgrab.php. So open the file openkbgrab.php with your code editor. And simply enter your email address where you want to receive notification here. So for this example, I'm going to put my son's email so we can see gmail.com all right i'm going to save the changes now i'm going to close that 
So now, if I actually run this openkbgrab.php, before I run that, if I go here, as you can see, everything is blank here, right? So now I'm going to go to my URL and I'm going to run it. Openkbgrab.php and hit enter there. See? WHMCS knowledge based synchronization completed for articles added. So if I go back to my knowledge base here, we have everything populated. Aha. Okay. So for example, getting started with PHP, as you can see, I can click there and we have the article, which is a video. So you will have hundreds of articles and it's going to be updated every single day. A new video or article will be added into your knowledge base every single day to help your own customer base achieve what they are trying to achieve. Okay, so that's the, the best part. So once it's done, you need to run a cron job to actually automate the whole thing. Don't forget that otherwise this is going to be updated just this once, right? You want to run that every single day, okay? So this is the cron tab. Just go to your cPanel and go to cron jobs. I'm just going to search this, search here. Cron cron jobs. <coughs> I'm just going to add a new cron job. I'm just going to copy this one. Man, I'm gonna copy this part there and I'm gonna come on settings every day once a day should be fine right and the command is php desk home username public HTML your WHMCS installation folder okay and then open kb grab dot php all right so if i add a new cron job it look like this home kids public html members which is your whmcs installation folder and open kb grab dot php that is actually this one if you run it again oh, oh not club coder sorry about that let me go here if I run this again, it won't add any new articles. See, zero articles added because everything has already been added. So that's pretty much it. That's how you sync your WHMCS knowledge base with our knowledge base every single day and provide your customer base with the most up-to-date knowledge base to help them with their business. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.